Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my channel. The, my channel, my closet. Uh, if this is your first time watching, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time. I'm uh, going to be a little, hopefully, going to keep this one to 15 minutes, even though I truly fell in love with this fragrance. We do have a full bottle to talk about here, and it, it did come from a sample. So I did really get to know the fragrance before I decided to to go for a full bottle and add to the collection. Um, and if you've been here for any amount of time, you know that definitely means something. Uh, I don't like to be too, too redundant on, on the fragrances that I own. And I do love for them to inspire me to layer, and this one sure did. If this is something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. Lost my train of thought, I was saying, I've got about 15 minutes because I have redemption in the kitchen i i did suffer an air fryer burn <laughs> right here and so for tonight i will be doing some air fryer wings and hopefully staying accident free <laughs> all right you guys let's go over this really quickly i'm going to keep it to 15 you guys um game of spades royale is inspired by tribeca bond number nine tribeca you guys same white tone color here the presentation for this fragrance by Joe Milano um, is actually really nice, very luxe feeling. This is a wooden box. <laughs> I thought that was so interesting. I don't believe I've received a wooden box. They've all been really thick cardboard, even the most luxurious. Oh, wait. Zerjoff, I believe, has a padded wooden box. Zerjoff, the one with the X back there somewhere? Yeah, I believe Zerjoff does. But anyways, yeah, really, really nice, heavy um, packaging, luxe packaging. And the bottle itself is also very heavy weighted. Uh, nice feel. If I am being honest, it does look a tad bit masculine to me, maybe because it's, you know, poker themed Game of Spades Royale. It has this spade here on the cap and it is a 100 ml bottle, 3.4 fluid ounces. And I purchased this fragrance from LaBelle, I believe, perfumes. I will link it in the description. And it was only $69 compared to the price tag of Bond 9 Tribeca. Pretty good on the wallet there. Uh, now, we won't be comparing this to the original fragrance. Maybe I'll do that um, if you would like, you know, sometime down the road. Um, I wasn't able to get a hold of it in time. And I just, I've been enjoying it so much that I wanted to share it with you guys already. Um, okay, so I cannot reference the original or the fragrance that it is inspired by. The notes are exactly the same. Oh, such a such a good fragrance. I finished the sample, you guys. Um, this has in the top hazelnut and cacao, in the mid, jasmine sandbox and cedar, and in the base, umbroxan, caramel, and moss. So the fragrance itself is inspired by Tribeca Bond nine, number nine. Um, but I did read quite a bit of reviews on the original Tribeca that it really smelled in the same vicinity as Baccarat Rouge by 40. So for a long time, this had already hit my radar and I wasn't really interested in checking it out because I have, I have the entire family tree of Baccarat Rouge by 40 in this closet, the dossier version, you know, Orienticus version and all kind of different versions and and every single cloud as well. Um, so I wasn't super interested and I was extremely surprised by the enjoyability level that the fragrance ended up giving me um, since I figured, oh, this is this might be redundant. <laughs> it's not, it was so nice. Uh, this opens up really nice and fresh, clean smelling, um, just, just sweet. Yes, you do get that sugared, um, you know, burnt sugared quality that Baccarat Rouge 540 does have. I don't get any of the medicinal tones that this fragrance does open up with, um, but I also don't get a heavy hazelnut or cacao. I was expecting to be hit with a little bit of that chocolate tone and I really wasn't. If I think about it really hard, I can smell it, but only because I know I'm supposed to be looking for it. If I didn't know there was hazelnut and cacao in the fragrance, 
then I wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> to me, it just smells like sweet, sweet sugar to, you know, with a fresh tone in the opening. Um, and then I do get a lovely hint of coconut, uh, you know, like a sweet coconut water, not coconut milk per se. It doesn't give me any lactonic feel, but it is definite coconut tone in here. And I don't know where that's coming from. The fragrance has caramel and it has, you know, the cacao and the hazelnut. And I just, I get a small coconut tinge. <laughs> Very nice. So, so sweet. So lovely. Um, you know, it does have a tinge of a, um, maybe I guess you could say a musky synthetic feel, but to me, I don't know. It's just, it's so smooth to me. I never, you know, felt like, oh, this is sharp. This is tickling my throat or it's headache inducing. It was very cozy, very cozy. Um, you know, I would just, I just coconut cream vibe <laughs> is what I get with this. So it's, in, it's both fresh and warm at the same time with that beautiful coconut cream vibe in here. Um, just completely loved this. Not to mention what sold me the most was its craveability. It's like, oh, I want to wear that Game of Spades, uh, you know, Royale again. I want to wear it with this and I want to try it with that. And, you know, anything that you want to accentuate, um, let's say it has coconut in there and you want to accentuate that, this fragrance can do it for you. I mean, maybe it's the Ambroxan. Uh, it does have the Ambroxan tone in there, of course. Um, but it goes the distance. This fragrance has lovely projection, lovely sillage. You leave trails of this. I did get asked what I was wearing. Um, you know, like, oh, that's really sweet and nice. I like that. Um, you know, a little coconutty. Yes, I, I get the coconut too. Um, so, gosh, I have just wonderfulness in this drawer to share with you guys that would go lovely with this fragrance. Um, you know, what I went for the most, I will start off with because you need to know. Now, as far as imagery is concerned, oh, longevity. Oof, are you kidding me? It, until you wash your clothes, okay? This is going to be another one of those set it and forget it. Maybe we'll do a set it and forget it video. This will land in there. Um, it doesn't play peekaboo, you guys. We did a recent fragrance that smelled like Baccarat Rouge by 40 as well. Um, it was by Morph, um, by this brand here, Morph, Zeta. That one had, you know, this nice little chocolatey tone in there as well, but it wasn't super, super strong. And the fragrance did kind of weave in and out throughout the day. This fragrance here is present. I never lose it. And for that reason, I think one of the major reasons why I love it, where I fell in love with it, you know, so much is because it is with you uh, you get to enjoy it others around you get to enjoy it it's just a lovely fragrance very well made oh very nice <laughs> Ooh, this is one you know this is one of those that's why we're here let's start off with what just put me over the top like yes we need this i wore it with <laughs> oh my gosh strawberry snowflakes juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. This right here, just just this and the Jo Milano, uh, Jo Milano, yeah, Jo Milano. Goodness, it's so hard not to say Jo Malone. <laughs> Very close. Um, yeah, no, look at this. This spray right here is a travel spray, but I have dented this. That is not easy for me to do with the amount, you know, the collection that that we got going on over here. This is only a 2.5 ml bottle. Thank goodness I ordered the large one with their recent sale because this is got to be the standout for me this winter. Strawberry snowflakes. Yes, juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. Absolutely beautiful combination. Um, adding a little bit of that coconut cream tone. Um, I get an imagery from the fragrance and it's actually this right here. Just, just a wintry day, cozy, um, you know, I'm out holiday shopping. It's a very happy inducing, uh, vibe. Um, and I truly, truly did enjoy 
um, the fragrance. So that was had to have been just my favorite combo, uh, definitely. Um, my next, it's one that I have enjoyed before uh, with a lot of different things. And it has a little bit of the same vibe going on. Um, you know, Sweet Tooth was just such a surprise win for me. You know, great fragrance um, price point. This is by Sabrina Carpenter. Uh, you can find this at Walgreens, Walmart. They have little sets. It's, it's a really fun fragrance. Very cozy. I love to wear this at bedtime, uh, you know, straight out of the shower. It's clean. It's sweet. It's a little bit fluffy. It's so, so good. And it goes beautifully. <laughs> so this is another uh, favorite of mine. Um, now, for whatever reason, I do, like I said, anything you want to accentuate the coconut in, you can. But I also really like to add the strawberry to this. Uh, maybe because I'm thinking about, you know, strawberry coconut cream. I don't know. Um, but for that reason, I did do the strawberry snowflakes with Burberry Her Elixir and uh, the Game of Spades Royale. And it was such a good wear. I mean, beautiful wear. Oh, yes. Let me give you guys a little spoiler here. I did have a subscriber uh, request a comparison here. There is um, there is a wonderful fragrance by the name of Now Woman. It has an interesting box as well. Um, it's called Rave. I'm sorry. Now Women Rave. Rave Now Women. Uh, this is a... What brand is this? Gosh, is the brand Rave? I'm honestly not familiar. She just said... Hey, try this out. It smells like Bur or it's said to smell like Burberry Her Elixir. It's got strawberries and all that good stuff. We're gonna do a comparison review, you guys. <laughs> really, really affordable fragrance. Um, very affordable comparison coming up. <laughs> so I paired this fragrance and it was beyond my expectations. Just so 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 nice. Um, now for that coconut tinge, I have a couple of options here, you guys. Um, I do love my Kapari um, Ultra Restore Body Butter. If you just want to go with something really light and clean and a little bit coconut, yes, this has hyaluronic acid, prickly pear, and coconut oil. Um, and it's just it's just a nice, light fragrance. And it leaves your skin so, so good. Uh, this is going to definitely be one of those dented skin cares. <laughs> um, in the same vicinity... It actually has a little more scent than this cream right here. Uh, Be Beja, excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Beja Flor Elastic Cream or the Brazilian Crush 68 right here. <laughs> this is a wonderful, wonderful scent. It's got Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. It's got other, other fragrances, other notes as well. In the top, we have Pink Dragon Fruit lychee essence in the mid brazilian jasmine ocean air and hibiscus and in the dry down sheer vanilla and sun musk it is a light airy fragrance also said to have a little air to the back of our 540 um so i already knew i was gonna love it and i do it is a light fragrance but it you can smell it and it goes wonderful with game of spades royale mm -hmm. oh yeah that one's probably going to be dented soon because it's an easy grab. It's an easy reach. Um, now, I would do the Beja Floor with the 68 and the new Ariana Grande's um, pink, cloud pink. I would definitely do that right here. This combination, <laughs> I can already, I'm going to do that tonight because I haven't gotten to yet. But that would be oh so nice. Now, a little bit of adding to that cream touch of the Game of Spades Royale. There's something in my throat. <laughs> um, one of these fragrances went straight up my nostril into my throat. I don't know what I put my nose on, but it is in there. Ooh, okay. We have Ariana Grande's Cloud 2.0, you guys. This one is creamy, uh, a lot creamier, a lot less musky than the original Ariana a Cloud, and it does have that coconut tinge, that creamy coconut to me. I do perceive that. So layering that, no problem. No problem. Um, next, we have, honestly, any vanilla that you would like to wear this with would go nicely. 
Um, but because it gave me that cold or I want to wear it, um, you know, it gives me that winter imagery. Nebras by Latafa. It has this just very cool ice cream tone to it that I find so interesting. Um, a lot of people say that it smells minty. I don't pick up a mint, I don't believe. It's more like a cold feel to the fragrance. Oh, so nice. Nebras with Game of Spades Royale is nice. Okay. Very, very nice. To add to that, I actually did this vanilla bean soothing body lotion by goose creek newly discovered this year um nebras and the game of spades royale and this was this was coconut cream ice cream so so good you see what i'm telling you like i've been really enjoying this fragrance um next we have let's see um laconic if you want to turn it laconic you definitely can with Bianco Latte. I didn't bring her, but here is the lotion, the body lotion. You could do, this is a nice strength body lotion. You could do the body lotion with the Game of Spades Royale and you're golden. Um, just really nice. So many different pairings you can do. Um, here's another one, you guys. I think a lot of people do associate this with summer. Um, it could go, it could go year round, of course. I do feel like this is more on the warm side. This has top notes of pistachio and almond, mid notes of heliotrope and jasmine petals. This has jasmine in it. This has some hazelnut, so it has some nutty nuance to it, even though it's not heavy. Uh, you know, it's contributing to that lovely sweet tone. In the dry down, we have vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. This has caramel in it as well. It just doesn't have sandalwood. But this right here, your your boom boom cream. It's not boom boom cream, you guys. Um, by So Janeiro and your 62. Yes, no problem. In that same, um, you know, with that same tone, I always get reminded of this fragrance here, Praline O Caramel by Kais, because this fragrance right here has in it uh, some a kapwasu note, which is also just really island style, really nutty. It is very, very sweet. I mean, this is sweet to the max. Half a spray on each wrist. Uh, very powerful. It will last you all, all day long. Um, and it's just like, it just gets in your, burns into your nostrils. It is so, so strong. Oh, I did, I did get, oh, this is so good. It has to me also um is this the one yeah like a chocolatey nuance to it as well the praline o caramel by kai's perfumes you guys this one is is a good one just this and this that's all you need and a very light light uh maybe a light layering base of lotion okay um i think i kind of made it through speaking of light layering base of lotion this one right here i found to be very light um it has been Vanilla cashmere cream, caramel woods, and frosted clementine. And I oh, and I dropped it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it has a nice clean feel. It's more sandalwood and clean than it is vanilla. So for that reason, and it's nice and light. I mean, it is a very light scent. I haven't used the, the spray, um, but I have used the lotion. And it goes so nice with the Jomlano. This is another one right here. Now, if you want to go in the same tone as your um, Tribeca 9 inspired by fragrance here, you could go within the stars. You could go within the stars. Uh, this has star flowers, sandalwood, musk, sugar, tangelo, white agarwood, and radiant amber. Yes, this is a no brainer. This is in this family. <laughs> oh yeah, we have another cousin to Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> with a very different tone though. Uh, you know, it has that beautiful caramel tone. Um, I did mention the pink and I forgot to mention the pink marshmallow milk by uh, House of Bloy. One of my favorites from that house. Oh, beyond favorite. This would go so nice. It has magical pear berries and pink frothy cold milk. Magical pink berries and frothy cold milk. This smells um, like pink berries and cream. I'm mean, just so nice. So nice. 
<laughs> this is one of my favorite, very unique fragrance scent profile. Um, the closest I've gotten to this smelling the uh, pink marshmallow milk is by Coco Pink called Pink Indulgence. I just got this one not too long ago and it reminds me of, yeah, that pink marshmallow milk. Um, it's a little heavier, a little more, a little more baked good vibe with this one. <laughs> oh yeah, very nice. I think, I think we've gotten through it all. Oh no, I talked about marshmallow and I didn't even give you guys one of my other, what I couldn't put down. <laughs> Delicia de Marshmallow with the Game of Spades Royale. I do have the Eau de Parfum here. Body butter, one, literally one spray of this with that all over and it was amazing. So, so enjoyable, that combo. And last but not least, we have the Morph de Simano, which is also pretty new in the collection, but I did combine the two. This already has a coconut note in there, and this doesn't. <laughs> but to me, it has a wonderful coconut nuance. So I just thought, let me combine these two loves, you know, these two powerhouses and see what we get. We got bliss. We just got bliss. <laughs> that is what we got from those. All right, you guys, I went like five, six minutes over my 15 minute uh, goal. Uh, but yeah, no, I could go on, honestly. Um, but I think I've covered everything that I laid out um, to talk to you guys about. Yeah, I believe I did. <laughs> Yay! Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will link in the description where I found this fragrance. Um, and if you're interested, just, just know it is not super heavy hazelnut cacao to where you get like a buttered popcorn tone or anything like that. This is really nice, light, airy, sweet, fluffy coconut creamy, you know, just mm, wonderful stuff here. Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe.